Hey everyone, welcome to Artful Crafts. I'm gonna be making our weekly, I'm gonna be doing our weekly challenge um, at the Shabby Chic Journal Group. And we're gonna be doing a windowed junk mail, um, windowed envelope. We're gonna be altering it. Um, and I'm gonna be using Wild Rose Bohemian um, sheets digitals and then this one is her um her uh crown girl shabby chic crown girls i'm gonna use this one i believe and make a journal card to go into here but first i'm gonna um start by doing the this but i want it the envelope but i want it to be this way so when you set it in the your journal you can pull it from there but I'm going to work, I think, from this way just for a minute. And I don't have all the good tools that everybody has, but that's okay. A lot of us don't, so what I'm going to do is just kind of, I don't measure. I should, but I don't. I just kind of do this. Let's see. Yeah, we could do it like this because I'll be just gluing it down and probably putting a little trim around it. So I don't think it has to be perfect. Okay, and then I'll just cut through this. This is the Wild Rose Bohemian, one of the um, damask papers. If you hadn't seen her stuff, go by. Um, last week challenge, I used this to make the little tin, and I put paint brushes and I put my pens in there also. And then I'll just glue this down. If I can get my little glue to come out, I need to refill. You can use a glue stick or really any kind of glue that you have. I love this, but when it starts getting low, it just has a hard time coming out. And usually I don't put that much because it don't take a, a lot of this glue. Okay, and we'll lay it down and get right here on the edges pretty even. I'll make sure I can see all that window. You can see this, but I think once I get it finished, you won't be able to. And the back really won't matter because you won't be seeing it. Just to make it a little sturdier, I'm going to trim. You can barely see. I can tell, but you may not can see it on camera. I'm going to clip this off. sure there's lots of ways to do this, but this is just my way. I may have a hard time doing it. No, I won't because I can do it just like this. You can lay that paper down just like that. I've only made these a few times, so I'm pretty new. I'm making these. Definitely always want to get that glue on that edge. Right 
I love my paper trimmer. I need to get like a little desktop paper trimmer. This, mine's just one of those really big bulky ones. And then right here, let's see if I can cut this down. Mm -hmm. Probably use this. I think I'll end up overlaying it just like that. Like I said, we'll be using it up. Let's see. Yeah, let me just overlay this onto that. That way, you won't have three seams, we'll just have two. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I think I don't want, and I should have done this, I wouldn't even had to worry about this part, but I think I want it to be like this. And that way, I don't want it really tall, I just want it like a normal size. So I'm going to go back, fold this over, clip this. And then, I think what I'm going to do is, like, have this as, like, a little tuck. Also, we can have a tag going this way. And this way, we could have two. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Could just have one right here. Do I want one coming from the top? We could do a top one coming out and then a side one. So let me trim since we're going to do that. Trim up here. So we'll have an opening. And then I will glue this. these sides together. And then, let me get this right here. Let's see real well that. Close that down. We can have a side tuck and then one coming up. Definitely. this down. Okay. Sounds good. So, I think these are the, um, bigger blank uh, index cards with no lines. I think I'm gonna use it, but I may have to cut this down just a little bit so it'll slip in and out easier. See, it's not really wanting to. So, what I'm gonna do is just cut this a little bit. We don't need all of that. Let's just cut it down. And it's probably not super straight, but that's okay, too. I'm going to lay paper over it, so I'm going to do it this way. Then. And then if you want to, you can um, put some little, little edging or something here. Like that. Throw that away. Get that out of the way. And I'm just going to back this again with this paper. My glue started it is really 
clogging up if I don't put this on every time I use it. This is pretty thin. You may want to double it up. Or you can just use, um, you can just cut down some cardstock. I just wanted to use these because I have them. I have a lot of them. Okay, I'll get those to the edge as much as I can. Put that down. Y'all have got to get me a mat. And I will one day. <laughs> I'll just cut this down. And you can ink around your edges. Um, I don't. If it if it's shabby chic, I tend not to. I like the more um, the cleaner edges. And I'm gonna get my rounder if I can find it, cause I just think it adds a little bit of something to it. Round the corners a little bit. You don't have to do that, but I just wanted to. And then I think I'm going to take her. Let me see where I'm going to have to place her. See, I, I want this coming out, but I want her on here. It can be through the window. Okay. I'll cut her out. I love these ladies. This, I usually like my little scissors for this. But it's okay for now. She just looks so glamorous. I just printed mine on paper, but you could use cardstock to even make it sturdier. Uh oh. Coming in this corner, I can't see good. It is very dark and overcast. Um, and I think we're supposed to be getting some cooler weather, which would be nice. that Wild Rose um, Bohemian puts the, um, like a little edging around their digitals. And it's kind of wide, so if you want it like cut halfway or leave it all, you can. Okay, let me see. Just going to place her. Let's see what she looks like in here. Definitely want her head to be in there. Okay. Let's see. I think that's going to be right there is where we need her to go. And so I don't misplace stuff. I'm just going to start like gluing right through here so I know where to place her. Just always get around those edges good because they will be the first things to pop up. I did come across a good, um, inexpensive glue, and you could probably use put them in these bottles when you were finished with them, clean them out real good, or not clean them out. Is glue all and it's it's Elmer's glue, but it is made for gluing different things. And it's pretty strong, I found out. So, when I'm doing a super bunch of gluing that doesn't require the little, little tip, I'll use it. 
it holds pretty good. And it doesn't cost a lot of money. Isn't she pretty? Pay her a little finger dump, but I think it'll be okay. There we go. Yep. Okay, so now we've got these done, we need to start decorating. This is our... I think I'm going to put a hole in here also with some pretty ribbon. I'm just not sure what yet. But as you can see, you can see some little, uh -oh, some little white areas. So I definitely want to do something with that. Now what, I don't know. The lace maybe. nice to frame it with. Mm, I think that's what I'll do, guys. We're going to frame this up like this and then work from there. Okay. And I definitely like to use fabric glue when I'm using fabric. Um, it just sink tends to dry a little bit better for me. And again, this bottle's getting a little low. I should have had it upside down, maybe. It's taking a little long to come out, but once it starts coming out, it can come on out. And I love Fabri-Tac, it's, it's great. And this is just a Sugar Bell bottle, and actually I got these at um, Michael's with um, a 40% off coupon, which was ended up making them cheaper than um, getting them on Zam Amazon. Okay, just glue that down. And I want my edge just to be just a little bit over, because I like the way that looks. And this glue is very sticky, but it's so good. And then, I got this lace at a thrift store for really cheap. about all the noises. <laughs> Next time I'll fill it up. Uh, a little dark fuzz on there. Now, I think maybe let's see some of this trim, but if I do it like this, well, I could do it like this. It'll just... It'll still show her little face. I like that, I think. But down here, what should I use? It's the same. I'm liking it. Yeah, I think I do that. Make sure it's on the right edge. Okay. Uh oh.
See, I just brought everything out because I just never know what I'm going to use. way and I still sh show her face. And this, I, that kind of, I don't like that. I always cut that off. Gets on my nerves. <laughs> okay. Let's see. This on here. Come on. I only just need a little bit more. Just a little bit. Just a little bit through out here. Okay. Make sure that is not laying on her face. Because I will probably put this under some books so that this little stuff will lay down better. after I put it on some books and it flattens down, it'll be pretty. Okay, so now we've got that done. Let's see, what else could I do? Should I do a little collage maybe right here? Could use, um, let's see, cheap pink cheesecloth. See what I'm gonna do first, if I'm gonna do this. Um, Maybe some of this. This kind of go matches that. So we could use this, not this, but yeah. We'll use some of this. Let's cut this down. Uh oh. Cut that down. You always kind of want all your elements showing, or I do. This way, and then let's see. Um, let me see. I need a full. Let's see. This. I think that's too big. I like these also. We could do that element of gold, that element of gold. Or, let's see, maybe one of these. Mm, yeah, I like this better. I sure do. Let's do that. Cut these down. And we've got two kind of colors. Um, the light, which is really pretty, or this darker one, and I think I'm going to go with this, because look, it kind of matches this a little, it kind of makes it pop, so I think that's what I'm going to do, so I'm going to glue this, hoping I have a little more glue in here, if not, we always got our handy dandy glue gun, Fired up and waiting. And I think I may have to use it. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to use it. Maybe not, though. And we'll have this hanging off just a little bit. I'm squeezing pretty hard here, guys. <laughs> if 
but I'm still getting some coming out, so we will do that. Set this right here on here. Get that off of there. I do like that. That's pretty. Okay, where did our journaling card go? So we still got to decorate it. Okay, now I think I will put one of the definitely a lace on here. It's pretty flat, so we'll go back to that. And cut it off a little bit more. Make it back in frame so you guys can see. Yeah. Okay. Let me just use the hot glue gun on this one because I am running low. Just a little string. Uh-oh. And I bet I don't have my... I'm just grateful it's not hot right now. <laughs> and then we'll put this up here, I think. It just gives it a little extra something. But you could still journal on it, right? And I should have put my hole in it first, but that's okay. We don't have to have a hole. What I can do is just staple uh, the crochet maybe to this. And it'll just be like that. And it should have been. Yeah, we can pull that. That'll be okay. We can lay it like that. And that's okay. I guess we could hot glue this on here. Here's my little spatula. I like using this when I'm gluing that hot glue. That's what we'll do. We'll just use this. It matches. And actually, it's already stuck down there, so I'll just put out a little bit more and push that down. Of course, you can add more or less, whatever you like. But I think I like it like this. Because I do want to be able to journal on it. You could even put it like a little button on the back. I would do a flat button. I think that would be cute. Or even a little flower. But I won't mind to be able to journal on it. So I'm going to leave it like that. Push it down in there, like that. I will add a bow in just a minute. I want to do a quick little um, tag for right here. So what I'm going to do is probably, it may take a third of this. Or half, I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, less than a half. So let's just go ahead and we can cut this down. See if that'll fit. Mm. I may not have this. Kind of got this in the way. Okay, here we go. I need to glue this right here down. You could tell where it opens up. That way, it won't keep catching. I can't. You, you'll know when you when you're doing it if you want to do this this way, but it's catching. I don't want it to, so I just glue that. Here's another little piece. I think I could cut it off. I'm just trying to get it to fit in here. Look at that. That is so cute. 
I love it. Let's just do it just a little bit more. And then we'll glue this. Or you could keep it like a little, um, or you could fold out a little secret place. Uh, journal thing, that's what we can do. I'll just glue this on the back, trim it up. And it'll just be another little journal in the area. could keep it like this and just open it up. What I'm going to add is something. It just needs something. And I think we're going to use this. And hot glue because I, I ran out of Fabri-Tac. Glue that down. Let's see. Just right here. glue on my fingers to get a little place and you can slip that in there a little hidden tuck spot get this out of the way and I think we're gonna put some a pop of white you don't have to but I love bows so I'm gonna put this on there I love bows and hearts Always have something feminine about a little bow. Clip that off. Let's see. Now I don't want it here. Or do I like it here? I think I'm going to do it here and just clip it down a little bit. And like I said, you can decorate this just tons and tons and tons. It'll be really pretty. Or you can just have a, have a little bit. I'm gonna trim this down. So it's not hanging so much. And that is how I make my decorated envelope. You can tack that down a little bit if you'd like. You've got your little hidden journal in the area. And you got a cute little tag. You can make it as fancy or as plain as you'd like. And you can glue this down in your journal. And there you go. I'm going to cut this off. We're going to kind of lopsided. it. There we go. And this little little thing. There we go. And once you put it down, or you could probably just put just a little bit of glue and tack this down. I mean, like a dot. That way it will stay down. Just a little bitty dot. You can see a little bit of that flower picking out. This is on that journal, so I mean on that um, acetate or whatever's in this window. So I'm just going to put it right here where the paper is. And it's still not laying as flat, but I'm 
thinking that's okay. This one is laying pretty good, but I'm going to put a dot right there. So that'll lay good. Still a problem with this one. I think I'm going to put some right on this edge of that lace right there and put this one if it'll fit there yep right there that way it's laying a little bit better and you can glue it as much or as little as you want and there you go there she is i think she turned out really cute okay guys thank y'all for watching